What's going on everybody? Your favorite soap company Colgate is back with another video. I come bearing horrible news. If you guys watched my latest video, you could probably put together that I did not hit Unreal. I don't think it took a rocket scientist to put the math together to figure that one out, but yeah, I didn't make it. This is going to be an overall conclusion video. I just wanted to take a second and talk about the previous season and how I think it went and the reason why I think I didn't hit Unreal. Now, I think we can all agree that I'm pretty bad at the game. I left during chapter two and honestly, I can't even pinpoint the exact season when I left, but it's been a very, very long time. And I came back to Fortnite during Fortnite OG, which was extremely fun. And I got back into Fortnite because of that season. So leading into chapter five, I was very optimistic about my chances of hitting Unreal. All of my washed up skill was still slightly above average, which is surprising because I haven't played in like Dude, I don't even know, like four years, three, I don't, I don't know how long it's been. I think the worst part about this entire season, or last season, I should say, is the fact that that season lasted from when I started winter break or like around that time up until like what, last week? This was a major issue and I knew that going into the series already. When I had winter break, it was so easy to pump out videos and it was so easy to spend countless hours playing video games, aka Fortnite, because I didn't have to deal with my job as much and I also didn't have to deal with school. That drastically changed once the semester started. I just genuinely could not keep up with my YouTube alongside my job and alongside school. You guys know all those stories where YouTubers are like, oh my god, it was so hard to keep up this pace during school. Oh, it was so hard to manage a full-time job while being in school alongside doing YouTube. Oh, it was so hard. Yeah, no, that that is 100% real and I can confirm that now. I don't even classify myself as a big YouTuber. I love you guys and you guys make me feel like I have a million bajillion subscribers. Now, that's not the only reason why I didn't hit Unreal. I genuinely do think I suck at the game. I feel like I'm slightly above average average, but once I hit diamond, the pace at which I was going at slowed down drastically. If you look back at my series, almost every single video we were in a new ring, up until we got into diamond where I had like 10 videos or something like that, where I was hard stuck diamond. That was not an enjoyable time period in my life. <laughs> I full heartedly think diamond is the worst and hardest and most frustrating rank to get out of. It's in the weird middle ground of you being top tier at the game, like elite, champion, and unreal, but also in the transition phase of being bottom tier at the game, like silver, gold, plat, and that's where all of the washed up junkies like me end up getting hard stuck in because we aren't quite good enough to get out of diamond but we aren't bad enough to go back down to plat. I think in one of my videos I asked you guys what the average rank was and a couple of you guys said that I was above average. I think I was perfectly average. I think most of the player base of Fortnite is in diamond now because it's either washed up people from earlier chapters or it's people who don't have quite good enough aim to get out of diamond. I'm speaking on just zero build. I also spent most of the series bush camping which I did not like at all but something you guys have to understand is that in zero build you literally do not have cover and you can't build cover so instead of just bush camping the entire game i would try and spin it around where i would only allow myself to bush camp in really tough situations or to bait out cars or guns or whatever else i tried not to be a complete scumbag about it but yes i did spend the majority of the later half of my series bush camping i think that also slowed down my progress a lot because i wasn't getting nearly as much kills now all that being said i'm really glad you guys actually enjoyed the series i tried to make it really funny i tried to make it really interesting i tried to pump out as many videos as i could but everything was stacked against me for so many weeks. I am still really happy with how the series ended. We ended up about halfway out of elite rank, which is a major accomplishment for me because I haven't played consistently since chapter two. So coming back to the game, basically as a fresh new player and managing to hit elite rank is still really impressive to me. I still really do enjoy Fortnite. I enjoy it a lot less now that I've played rank and my enjoyment of the game is also probably way lower now, but I'm still dedicated to making Fortnite content for you guys. Now, after this series, I'm not sure exactly where I want to take my channel. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I actually used to make funny moments videos. A lot of them were on CSGO. Some of them were on Valorant. Some of them were on Call of Duty, if you guys have really been following me for that long. So I think after this next Fortnite series, I might transition into making broader content, mainly focusing on more funny moments rather than trying to be the best in any game. I will still, of course, make these videos of me trying to progress my skill in a game. However, I don't want it to be the majority of content on my channel. I think these series are really great. I think these series are really fun, and I'm really happy you guys enjoy them, but I don't want to make the sole purpose of my channel surround the fact that I need to get better at any given game. I think after a point that gets really annoying to deal with and in that case it becomes really unfun to watch because I don't want to play the game and I'm not getting better at the game and I don't have any reason to get better at the game and I really don't want that to happen to me. I really want you guys to enjoy my videos and I really want to make videos that I also enjoy making. So after this series I'm not sure where the road will take me but for now I have an idea for a brand new series. If you guys have been looking at the comment sections in any of my videos you might have already caught on by now. So for my next Fortnite series we're going to be doing rank 
ranked build mode road to unreal keep in mind i already don't have the greatest aim in the world and i have not built in this game since chapter two a lot of my strategies and a lot of the way that i'm going to build is not going to be up to date at all i don't know how to edit very well my aim isn't the best however my game sense is still pretty good if you guys could suggest me in the comment section below what keybinds you use for build mode that would be greatly appreciated because i genuinely have zero clue what to set my keybinds to because when i did play fortnite it was on pc it was on controller i might have to plug in the controller man you never know <laughs> that was a joke hopefully it never gets to that point so yeah if you guys could comment down below some of your build keybinds and what you think the best keybinds are i would appreciate that very much also very quickly i want to mention my mouse only has two side buttons so when you guys are making your keybinds please keep that in mind i'm very excited for this new series i am once again still in school but i'm still really excited to start this series and i can't wait for you guys to watch how bad i am at building for reference the entire reason why i did zero build ranked was because i genuinely could not build so i am going into the series with basically no building experience except for the fond memories i have on how to build prior to chapter two i hope you guys enjoyed this conclusion i know it's pretty upsetting that i didn't hit unreal rank but i got a good feeling about this one because i have slightly more time to dedicate to the series i already have the aim experience from zero build so my aim is a little more fresh and i'm going to be helped out by you guys giving me your best keybinds which is going to help a lot while i'm learning because i will already be set up with the best keybinds possible i cannot thank you guys enough for supporting me throughout that last series along with just supporting the channel in general i always get so happy when i see you guys liking my videos and consistently commenting under each video you really have no idea how much this means to me so thank you guys i can't wait for this next series and i hope to see you there if you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe and once again comment your best keybinds down below and i'll catch you guys in episode one of road to unreal in ranked build mode